Well, everybody, I got it. All stuff we need to make a paper fortune teller. Now, this is 18 inches by 12 inches, so we're gonna have to make this 12 by 12 to make this work. So, we got our six inch ruler, so I'm gonna have to make a mark here, six inches. Make another mark here, and six inches. Now, that should be 12 inches. So, at our little mark that we made, we're gonna fold the paper on that mark, and we're going to cut it. Now we're gonna fold it, a bunch of folds, because we're gonna make triangles. All right, we fold it this way once, this way, okay? Now we're gonna fold it the other way. Now we're gonna fold it diagonally, like this. And we'll fold it diagonally the other direction. Like that. So we're making folds in the paper. Now we're gonna fold it, each corner, into the middle. Like that. And now you have a square. Now we're gonna turn this over. And we're gonna fold it again, like this. Now once you have done that, and folded it all, you're gonna turn it over, like this. Okay, so there you go. So now we have to write colors on these each of these four squares. And make sure the color you pick, each color, has a different amount of letters in it. You wouldn't want to use black and brown because they each contain five letters. So once you've done that, you want to turn this over and you see all these triangles in here? You're going to want to uh, number those triangles one through eight. And there you go. Now, under each one of these tabs that you put a number, you're going to put a fortune. Then you would fold it in half. See how I fold it in half? Fold real good. And you put your fingers in it, okay, like this. You gotta work it a little bit because it's a little stiff because you just made it. And then you put it like this, and there you have it. So that's a paper fortune teller right there. Cool. Now I happen to have made one earlier, right here, all done. So what do you say I try it out on me? So let's say my favorite color is red, so I'll pick red. R E D. I look inside and I find a number inside there that I like, and let's say number three. One, two, three. And then I pick another number, that will be my fortune. I'll pick number six. And it says, the show is going to be over soon. What happened when I pick five? 